Hello, kindergartners, first graders, mathematicians from all over. It's Miss Day and Sam. And you might wonder, Miss Day, what is with that awesome hat? And it's just a new fashion statement that Sam and I are making. Yeah, we're just playing around. These are not boxes, they're cool hats. Yeah, they keep us cool. All right, the reason we're wearing these is because today we're gonna start with a new story. And this story is called, Not a Box. And this is a really fun story that we're excited to read with you. We're gonna read the story and then we're going to play a game. And then we're gonna move our bodies and then look at an image to ponder or an image to wonder about. And we have a special guest joining us today. Our friend, Firefighter Frank, will be with us to read this story. And we're so excited to have you here. And we've been working on a lot of different math practices. And today, what we really wanna focus, is, focus on is that we can explain our thinking and try to understand others. So let's get ready for not a box. Hello, mathematicians, kindergartners, and first graders, and friends. It's me, Miss Day from Arbor Heights, and me, Sam. Hi, everybody. And today we are reading you a new story called Not a Box. And this story is written by Antoinette Portis. She is the author and she is also the illustrator. That means she drew the pictures. Okay, are you ready to read? Not a box. And on the cover, I see a rabbit and it looks like the rabbit has hands on its hips and it's standing next to a rectangle. You say it looks like a box, but it says it's not a box. Hmm, let's find out what happens. Not a box. Oh, looks like it flipped over on its side. Oh, now I see the rabbit's taking it somewhere. Oh, look, there's a dedication. It says, to children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. I wonder why it says that. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out when we finish reading the story. What does the author mean by to children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes? Oh, look, now the rabbit's pushing the box. Why are you sitting in the box? Let's find out. It's not a box. Oh, look, Miss Day, it's not a box. It's a race car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, I see a number on the side. What do you think that number is? I know, it's the number 15. Ooh, let's count to 15 by fives. Okay, ready? And then the, and then the race car might take off. Okay, five, 10, 15. I wonder where it's going or what will be on the next page. What are you doing on top of that box? What do you think the rabbit's doing on top of the box? It's not a box. Oh, probably right. Huh. Maybe it's a statue? Or maybe it's uh, standing on a rock. Oh, that would be something. Trying to see, like looking over a fence. Let's find out. It's not a box. Oh, it says rabbit peak at the top. Look at that. It looks like he climbed a mountain. He's at the very top of the mountain. I wonder what will be next. What will happen? Will the box change? Let's find out. Why are you squirting the box? Hmm. At home, can you figure out why is the rabbit it looks like it has a hose and it's squirting the box. Let's find out. Oh, goodness. I said 
It's not a box. Oh, someone's at the door. Look, it looks like there's that the building is on fire. Let's see who's at the door, Sam. Whoa, did someone say there was a fire? My name is Firefighter Frank, and I'm here to put out any fires that come into the world. I gotta keep people safe. Oh, it's okay, Frank. It's look, it's actually uh not a box. It's a rabbit. It looks like he's putting out a fire, but we're just reading a story. Well, I don't know. I you know, it's important for me to be here and to keep people safe. I've seen a lot of fires. Yeah, uh, thanks, um, Frank. Uh, it, uh, thanks for coming back, Sam. It's just Frank. Oh, hi, Frank. Hi, hi there, Sam. Uh, so we're looking at a picture of not a box, and it looks like the rabbit is putting out a fire. And when I look at this picture, I see a lot of windows. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, there are a lot of windows there. Frank, uh, how many windows do you see? Well, you know, when I look at pictures like this, I try to see patterns. And I see the area where the, where the rabbit is putting out the fire. And it looks like those windows are in rows of six. I see three and three across the row. And that means there's six in a row. So if I count, let's see, there's, let me see. Sam, can you sit down for a second so Miss Day can help me count? Oh, sure. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six windows, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of those windows. So uh, that is a lot of windows. I agree. I see that you're seeing the rows, though. That would probably help us to figure it out. You know, Miss Day, I could probably count by ones. That would take me all day. The other thing I see at the top is I see, no, they are only five. The red windows, they're five. Let's count. One, count with us at home. Two, three, four, five. You're right. So there's six down below and five in the middle. Yeah, and it gets even more interesting. If you go up another level, there's four. How did you see that, Frank? Well, I just saw it and no. Sometimes it's called subitizing. I know about subitizing. It means I just know without counting. Oh, okay. So four here and five here and six. Whoa, we could try to count by sixes. Should we do that, Frank? Okay, Miss Day, but you know, that's a lot. Whoa, whoa. Let's fix this not a box that we're currently sitting in right now. Okay, let's do it. Six, 12, 18, 24, 32, 38. Wait a minute. I think, Miss Day, we messed up on the counting there. Yeah, me too. It's been a while, Frank. Let's try to figure this out. Hold on. My legs are getting cramped inside this box. All right, Miss Day, let's try again. All right. I know. I know another way to figure it out. Okay, six. I know six times five is 30. So six, five times, one, two, three, four, five, that's 30. And then six more would be 36. And then six more of that would be 42. 42 windows, windows just in the middle where the, where the rabbit is spraying water. So if we have 42 there, and then we add five more, we have 45, 46, 47, and then four more, 48, 49, 50, 51. If we go down here to the bottom where I see three, we got 54 windows, Miss Day, 54 windows. Sam, do you agree with that? Yeah, that's a lot of windows. I'm, I, now I really hope it's not a box. I mean, now I really hope it is a box. I don't want it to be a real fire. Don't you worry, Sam, I'll keep you safe. Let's keep reading the story. Okay. Oh. A lot of thinking me there. Maybe you figured it out a different way and maybe a more efficient way. That would be quicker. And if you, you know, we had the wrong number at first and that's okay. Yeah, Miss Day, that's okay. It's called, we just revise our thinking. We just figure it out another way. Yeah, another way we could figure it out is, oh, I know, we could count by ones. We could, we could count by ones. Let's, uh, maybe we could come back to that and do it later to check. We want to keep reading the story, right? Yeah, let's keep reading the story. Okay. 
I wonder what it's gonna be next time. Hopefully nothing on fire. Okay. Now you're wearing the box. I better go, Miss Day. I'll see you later. Okay, bye, Firefighter Frank. Oh my goodness, what in the world is the rabbit doing now? Hmm. Adam, can you guess? Why do you think the rabbit is wearing the box? Oh, did you say rabbit? It's not a box. That's what the rabbit said. It's not a box, is it? No, Miss Day. It's a Rabbit XL3. It looks like a robot. It does. Wow, look at all the detail of that robot. Wow, this is amazing. He can make it so many things. Are you still standing in the box? Well, look, Miss Day, he's touching his head. Yeah, maybe he's, he's thinking. Sometimes when people touch their head, they're thinking. It's not, not, not a box. Uh-oh, I think he's mad at us. I do too. Whoa, it's a pirate ship and a hot air balloon. Yeah, and an elephant and a tugboat. Well, what is it then? Yeah, we've been calling it a box, but what is it? Oh, he's thinking. Rabbit's thinking. Have you seen that pose? Have you seen that pose at home when someone has your hand there and they're thinking about something? Maybe he's trying to think of what it is, Miss Day. Oh, I gotta better move our picture so you can see what it says. It's my not a box! Oh, I see. So it's not a box. It's a not a box. Wait. Miss Day, I have an idea. Maybe what we're sitting in, too, is a not not a box. So, mathematicians and readers, remember at the beginning of the story when the author dedicated it to children sitting in boxes everywhere? Well, why do you think the author did that? Can you tell me? Here, tell Sam in his ear. He loves to hear it. Sam, do you have an idea? What do you think? I think it's because a box can be anything you want it to be. That could be. All right. Thanks, mathematicians and readers. Thanks for reading. It's not a box with us. Oh, look. I've seen that before on the side of a a not a not a box this side up. Yeah, it might have something fragile or sense de delicate inside that could break if you turn it upside down. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye. It's not a box. It's a pirate ship. Land ho. Let's go get some treasure. Good idea, Sam. It's not a box. We're going to outer space. Oh, let's get ready to blast off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We're in outer space, Sam. This is amazing. I'm floating. This is not a box. This is an underwater capsule. Swim, Sam. Swim. I don't have to swim. I'm in the underwater capsule. Bye, Sam. Hey, wait a minute. Hi, mathematicians. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you an image. And this is an image that has four pictures in it. And each picture is a little different than the others. And what I want you to think about is, hmm, which one of these images doesn't belong? And the secret is, 
there's a reason why they all don't belong. And the important thing is, is I want to know what you're thinking. And Firefighter Frank helped to pick this image. Why'd you pick this, Firefighter Frank? Oh, well, you know, as a firefighter, lots of times we have dogs working with us. So this is actually pictures of dogs. All right, so I'd be interested to hear what your thinking is and, uh, and your thinking at home. Are you ready to see the image? Thumbs up if you are. Okay, here's the image. Oh, I worked real hard on this one, Miss Day. Look at this. Look at all those beauties. Yeah, I see a lot of really nice looking dogs on there. Now, what we're doing is we're looking at this picture and we're wondering which one doesn't belong. Hmm. Let's see. Let's bring Sam up in here. Hi, everyone. All right. Sam, we're looking at these pictures and trying to figure out which one doesn't belong. Well, I know, Miss Day. I think the one in the top right corner with the spots, that one doesn't belong because it has spots and the other ones don't. Oh, I see. Yeah, but I'm not so sure. When I look at them, I see the one in the bottom corner, the little tiny one. That one is very small. I think that one doesn't belong. What do you think at home when you look? Is there one that you think doesn't belong? Can you tell someone? Why do you think that one doesn't belong? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Miss Day, I see another one. You know, when I look at the, the one in the top next to the spotted dog, that one it's the only one that's looking in a different direction. I think that one doesn't belong. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Wait a minute. I see something else. If you look down at the bottom corner, that, that dog looks a little more stretchy. Looks like it got a little more stretchy than the rest. So maybe that one doesn't belong. Hmm. Well, thank you for sharing your thinking with us, with me and you at home and you know, there's lots of ways to see things and to make sense of things. And it's so important to share your thinking. All right, we'll see you next time when we look at an image to ponder or wonder about. And I think of next, we're going to get ready to move our bodies. We're going to play one, two, nim. And our contenders are... The camel and the crab. Okay, now you can see we have pine cones that we found in the yard. And this is how they're lined up. And up first, we're going to have the crab. Now the rule of the game is you can take any number of pine cones from any row However, you do not want to take the last one. So whoever takes the last one loses the game. Whoever does not take the last one wins the game. Okay, up first it is crab. Do, 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 do. How many are you going to take, crab? Do, 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 do. Oh, looks like crab's going to take whoa, two from the second row. Crab, why did you take two? I really like even numbers and two is even. Like I have two pinchers. Okay. Mommy, this oh, we should have figured out how many we had before you took the two. Let's see if we can figure it out. Camel, can you help us? Well, I see four at the bottom. Well, look it. And there were three in the next row. So four, five, six, seven, two at the top, eight, nine, ten. There were ten and he took two. So there must be eight. Oh, let's find out. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you're ready. And you're up next, camel. Dooper, 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 dooper. Hmm, what's camel gonna take? Oh, camel, you have an idea? Yeah. I'm gonna take this last one from the second row. All right, camel's taken the last one from the second row that had three. 
All right, you're up next, crab. Oh, crab's taking one from the bottom row. How many do we have now? Six. How did you know that? I saw three and three. Okay, camel, your turn. How many are you gonna take? Oh, camel's taking two from the bottom row. Whoa. All right, that means there's four left. Remember, you don't want to take the last one. Hmm. Crab sneaking in. He's going to take two from this row. Oh, it's neck and neck. They've got two left. Crab, why did you do that? Because he can only take so many from one row. So, uh-oh, wait a minute. I think I'm going to lose the game because it's Camel's turn and... Oh no, camel. Oh, here he goes. Camel's taking one from the top. That means there's one left and it's up to the crab to get it. Oh, crab. I'm so sorry. You had to take the last one. Camel is the winner. Hey crab, wanna play again? Okay. Yay, friend! High pinch! Oh. Hello, mathematicians. It is our time to look at an image and wonder about it. And this came up earlier when we were reading our story. Not a box! That's right, Firefighter Frank. Thank you for joining us for this. And Sam's here. Oh, yeah! All right. Now, Sam, do you remember earlier when we were reading the story how did we count the windows in this building yeah i remember miss day we counted by six times five plus five plus four we did a lot of counting it was a lot of work yeah you know we really had to try to figure out how many windows there were i was so worried about the fire but the rabbit did a great job putting out with all the water all right and so sam you had said Maybe we could check our thinking by counting by ones. Okay, are we in it? Do you think we can do it? Can we count by ones? Yeah, let's do it, Miss Day. All right, I think we can do it too. Let's figure this out. Okay, so I'm gonna have Sam. You're gonna come stand right here next to Firefighter Frank. And we're going to, we're gonna get cozy here, aren't we? We're gonna get cozy. All right, and we're going to try counting by ones to see if we could come up with the same number we had earlier. What was that one? Oh, yeah, that number was 54. 54 windows. That was a lot of windows. Let's see if we come up with 54. This is just one way we can check our thinking. Hopefully it won't take forever. All right, let's start at the top so we remember. You ready? You ready at home to count with me? All right, we'll try by ones. One, two, three. Now I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure behind that flame is another one. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Were we right about that? Yeah, it looks like mistake. And I'm not a box. Yeah, we had 54 windows. Yeah, checking it like that really, really helped me to see that that's exactly how many windows we had. Right. Okay. Now, before we leave our image to ponder, is there another way we could look at this image and figure out how many windows there are? Take a close look. You at home. Hmm. How else could we figure it out? Hmm. Hmm. I know, Miss Day. We could count by twos. Okay. 
Yeah, we could probably count by twos. Yeah, I also know we could count by threes. Threes is a lucky number. I think we could count by threes. Okay, uh, well, should we try those? Which one? Mm, yeah, let's, let's try counting by threes. Well, that's really nice that you want to try Firefighter Frank's idea. Yeah, it's so nice when we can make an agreement and share our ways of figuring things out since we just tried Sam's way of counting by ones. Now we're going to count by threes. Okay, all right, let's try counting by threes. Now, I'm going to hold you over here again, Sam. We're going to get all cozy in our not not a box to make sure we see Firefighter Frank. And let's start at the top and, hmm... Maybe start at the bottom. Let's see how this works. Okay, we're gonna go three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. Wait a minute. Did we get that one right? Let's try that again. Let's start maybe up here. Let's start. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one, twenty four, twenty seven, thirty, thirty three. 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54. Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Miss Day, I noticed that you had to kind of stop because you lost your track of your counting and you started in a new place. That's a good strategy to use to try to figure figure out where, how many windows there are. Yeah, thanks for showing that to us. Sometimes we start counting and then we think, whoa, wait a minute, I need to try that again. All right, so how many windows are in this building? That's right, 54 windows. All right, thanks for looking at this image with us and we'll see you next time. I'm out of here. Bye.